Hi guys, so continuing on with the sneak previews of some items that Diamond Press has brought to their site for uh, Teal Tuesday, um, I have some kits to show you guys. So these items were sent free of charge from Diamond Press uh, for my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links for, t for Teal Tuesday. That's not so much something for Diamond Press, it's just if I use other products or other items, I'll have linked, and uh, those would be the affiliate links. For Teal Tuesday, you want to use the code TEAL50, so T-E-A-L-5-0, um, all day June 22nd from midnight to, you know, going into the next midnight, um, just one day. Uh, you can use that code to get 50% off a cart of $50 or more. So, meaning if you do that, your cart would be $25 or, you know, $35 if you're spending $70 or whatever. Um, but... $50 or more, you can use Teal 50, okay? Uh, just that one day only. So I do have some sets here. People have asked me several different questions. Um, I think one of them is, is everything on sale? Um, as far as I know, everything that's on the site, whatever you put in your cart, um, you can ask Diamond Press. I don't know. I don't know the particulars of each item, but uh, whatever's on the site right now, if it hasn't sold out, um, it seems like it's fair game. And then um, what else? What other questions? Just the one day on mydiamondpress.com. I think I made it kind of clear as I could in the first video that it's not HSN because I know a lot of times people equate Diamond Press with HSN. This is their own site mydiamondpress.com and I always have the information in the description box um, and that's where the sale is okay and that's where it's going to be. Um, what else? I think that's maybe it. So I'm going to take these things out of these packages and we'll start Let's looking at them. these little guys. So some of these might be oldies but goodies. Some of these might be things you've never seen because you're new to paper crafting and never had a chance to get it or however. Uh, this is the Marquee Alphabet dies. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I know I don't have the best memory in the world, but like I don't remember seeing these. <laughs> They're so cute. Hold on. And what they mean is Marquee, not Marquee like the, the machine, the bigger machine. This one's probably designed to go with the little guy. But you can put it in any machine, obviously. And that's the other question I get a lot. Any thin metal die is interchangeable with any machine that cuts thin metal dies and vice versa. You can use their dies, other people's dies in diamond press machines. You can use diamond press dies in other machines, as long as they are the type of machine that would cut thin metal dies. It comes with plenty of um, cutting folders. Again, these are reusable over and over and over. Even if they warp or get, you know, a little funky, keep using them. They're going to keep cutting. Um... That's just how that works. And then, how cute are these? Oh my goodness. So, I don't know if you can see, it has, obviously you can see now, it has little dots that it cuts out. So it's like a marquee, like a sign, right? Um, I want to see if this is something that just sits behind it, or if it's exactly the same size. So it looks like it would make the smallest um, shadow behind it. So cute. So in this video, I will try some of these items out. I just want to show you things first, and then we'll get to that. Um, you know, I don't know how I should do this. Let's put this over here. This is the Diamond PR Block Alphabet dies. Let's check this one. This one comes with numbers. I think the other one was all letters. Is that right? Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Cutting folder. Oh my goodness. So this one's, yeah. It says PR block alpha, but it has the capital letters. It has your lowercase. All kinds of punctuation and everything. And then your um, numbers. And you know what? In case I don't use everything. Um, the size on this one, I'll just measure this bigger guy. Let's measure it this way. Just about one inch, I would say. About one inch high. These guys, it's different because of the different styles, but... Uh, Let's say three quarter inches, a little bit over three quarter inches, around there. So it's a little bit smaller alpha. Oh, sorry. This is floral ward stamps and dies. Oh yeah. Sorry, let me open this up. So we have the little flowers again, beautiful little vine. You can you know pop your little flowers on there or however you want to design that. We have a kind of mandala looking flower right here and then this one's kind of a different shape that you normally see. Cute. The little vine, leaves, little flower, and then smile. I mean there's just get well. And these are like the little thin sweet sentiments you can pop on anything. Hello, love, um, best wishes. Uh, it looks like that one says happy, so happy. And then you... 
You something are. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like a D, but I don't know if that's a D. Oh, oh, amazing. There you go. <laughs> it's hard to tell, especially with the script, because you're kind of following along. Like, what are we looking for? This is the Let's Party Word Dies. Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, so it has this cutting folder. It's one set of uh, word dies here that are on this. Um, happy birthday. I was like, happy for birthday. It's not the same. So, happy birthday. And then we have four here. Um, I mean, just a lot of sentiments or surprise. Um, do, 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 something. Party, I would say. Mm, I know it says party right there. I thought maybe it says let's, but then it says something else. Hmm. Lots of words. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, the where. So cool. So I guess you can try all, you know, this party by itself, RSVP. I mean, there's just a lot of different uh, wording in there. Uh, border template die set. And these are the kind of things you guys always pick up and just uh, gravitate towards. And let me open this up just in case. But I think we're seeing both sides of it just through the packaging here, but... Come on. I didn't want to do this, but I will. Okay, so it comes with two uh, cutting folders. Um, we have the little, um, kind of like, borders, <laughs> as it says. And then you can pop in the words, or you can just use the borders by themselves, or you can pair them up, because once you pop out this, you know, the insert was a happy birthday. You can see through it, so you might want to layer it over something else. We have a hello, hello, hello. Uh, thank you. Um, oh, come on. <laughs> I think... I want to say it says... Is that a question mark? I don't know what this one says. I'm sorry, guys. We'll have to check that out. Uh, I love you, and then all these different little um, just designs. They're super cute. You can just cut this into your paper, like if you had a card front or whatever, and it has that insert. So you don't even have to use the um, the outer part. This is uh, nesting dies, it says. Oh, so sweet. So this is kind of like one of those starter sets you might like to um, pick up. It definitely would fit in um, the marquee, uh, well, the marquee for sure, and then this little guy, right? So it has all these different little sets. Great for little tags or just, you know, layering stuff up. Apertures for shaker cards. I mean... So many different ways to use this. Super cute little tag set over here. I was just trying to see why it's like that. I was like, oh, you can fold it. But either way, adorable. Oh, you can do partial die cutting with this, these little guys to make like little window envelope. You know what I'm saying? So if you run it through to a certain point on your card, um, you can open this part up and leave that attached. Cute. Okay. Let's see, this is, oh, okay. This is Tropical Stamps, Dies, and Folders. And I think I might already have this in my own stash. A lot of these things I might have picked up previously, <laughs> but um, in my collection. But let me show you this one. Do, do, do. I'm trying to get this out here. So um, a while back, sometimes um, in Diamond Press kits, they came with ink. So this one has pigment inks, I believe they were. It has like a little fresh freesia kind of, uh, freesia, fuchsia color in like a bright orange. Uh, we have the cutting um, folder. We have um, embossing folders. One has little waves. The other one has like little tropical leaves. Super cute. It has a longer cutting folder. I um, should probably open this up too. Okay. <laughs> A little trickier than I thought it would be. All right. So there are the stamps. Super sweet. It's all the different stamps that you can color in or do whatever you like. Oh, I love the little sunglasses. And then we have our die cuts for some of the shapes there. So hopefully I'll put it there so you can see the pineapple cuts out. Even this little floral spray cuts out a little flower. The um, glasses, flamingo, and the leaves. Really nice little um, banners. So that's that one. And this is a Diamond Press Tea Time. Another just sweet set. I love this set. 
So again, it comes with some pigment inks, um, cutting folders, the little stamp. Uh, you know, I actually used this folder um, not too long ago. I can't remember what I was embossing, but I, I knew it added some, I think to some letters or something I had cut. Super cute. And the little coffee or tea, I guess. How cute. And then here we have um, the stamps. You can see kind of what's going on here. We have the different stamps you can just uh, ink up and then you can cut it out and you can have the little dots or the stripes or nothing, however you want to do that. The little teapot also has its dye. The coffee, I love this kind of thing. Little to-go cup, little macaron. Macaron, uh, let's see here. And it also has its own dye. Um, for some of the wording. And then it has a sweet little um, lace dye here. You and me. And a cup of tea, friend. Hey there, you're true. Hello, best coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Super cute set with a little tea bag even. And then uh, this is a newer item. And if you are on auto ship, you might have this or might be have already had the chance to get this. But if you did not, and I think I recently reviewed this too. It's the uh, Diamond Press Slimline Sunshine and Smiles. Let me open this up. Just gorgeous. Yeah, no, so we have our slimline die, the outer die. You have nesting inserts that if you want, or inserts, I guess. Um, so you can cut just the outer frame, or you can put these guys in there, layer them up however you like. It has Aloha and Friend and Miss You and Sunshine and Smiles. And then Aloha is like stitched which is really cool, but it also has a shadow. And then some instructions and of course a larger cutting folder for the marquee. But again, if you have any other system that cuts, um, you would use your folder or your cutting system however that is intended. All right, so let me grab some papers and we'll try some of these out. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is make a quick little tag. Um, I did go and pull out some things from my own stash, which would be the tropical set and the tea set. And um, the reason I did that is because well, I have them. So I'll use these if I use any of these uh, items today in this video or later today or however I'm gonna work that out. Um, and what I'll do is I'll give these others away. Now I'm not giving them away right now because I know people will say, enter me because they know <laughs> my giveaways are real easy. I will do it after uh, the Teal Tuesday. That way if you didn't get a chance to uh, pick it up, then you might have a chance to win them. So uh, keep an eye out for that, okay? So I have them here set up so that way it's not all fumbled through and touched and everything. I'll just use my own set and then I'll give away those two sets, okay? So keep an eye out for that. But for right now, I'm going to... I guess I know a lot of times people ask me about Diamond Press items. I've been buying their things and like collecting since like, basically since the beginning. So I do have a lot of these sets in my collection already. All right, let's see here. Um, okay, these little guys. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a quick little tag, I think. So I'm gonna use this black paper. I picked out some kind of fun, you know, I should not just eyeball it because that's what I do and I end up making it too short or something. I'm um, just gonna do this. And then I'm gonna use the um, this set here. Um, Oh, I already forgot the name of it. The floral word stamps and dies floral word. Uh, yeah, or dies, should I say? I don't know why, what I'm reading over there. Okay, so let's do some of those. We're gonna take this guy. I think I'm also gonna cut a little mat, just for a little background from this pink piece. And. I brought out some green and some bright orange just for fun accents, so I'll do that. Let's get these guys going. And I'll just take, I think this is gonna cut with this guy, yeah. So I'm just gonna take one of the little cutting folders that it came with. And yes, you can run these through the marquee too. I usually just run them through the very center, but um, I'm sure it'll work wherever you place it in the marquee, so I just grabbed my original diamond press, but Again, you can run the same thing through the marquee okay, just like so we have our little piece here. I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink one. It's a little bit smaller. I'll just run this through. Sometimes I pause because um, what happens is I shake the camera as I <laughs> roll this through. So we have this little guy. So I'm gonna have those layer up and then I'm going to Take a little of this orange, very bright. And some of this green. Oh, you know what? Hmm. 
I'll cut it like the actually like this. In my mind, I was going to use this guy, so I am going to use that still. Hopefully, I cut my paper big enough. Right on. And then I was going to use some of the little leaves. You can also use the little spray. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with um, the leaves, but this would look really cute too, also tucked behind there. Okay, I'm going to cut these out and I'll be right back. Okay. Just pop this little guy out. And. Look at that, gorgeous. So, I'm just gonna layer these up and glue them down because if it's like a tag, you know, you can use a milky pen since I went with black or you can die cut um, to and froms or whatever it is you might have in your stash. I just thought it was fun to put this little mat back there. So you have that one. And I'm just gonna lay this on here. Again, with flowers and leaves, I like to let them kind of do their own thing, but I'm going to try to some glue there. Oh, you know what? Where was I going to put these? Maybe in the same spot? That's cute. Okay, before I glue that down, I'm going to stick these guys down. Oopsie. And I think I'm going to make a card with the uh, tea set. Next, that'll be fun. So just here and here. There. Just a sweet, cute little tag. And what I'll do is take my, um, this guy, oopsie, my crocodile and make a little, I got a little hole here. Quick, adorable, again, two from, wherever you want to put that. Um, let me grab some of the other items so we can make a card. Okay, guys, try to clamp a little bit here. We have our cute little tag. You know, that one has some words too, even the word smile would fit on here really cute, or some of the other uh, sentiments. Adorable. All right, let's put that to the side. Um, on this one, I'm going to use the um, tea set. And I brought out a piece of lavender paper because I think I'm going to stamp whatever I'm going to do with a little teacup on like white paper. So I didn't want to put white on top of white because this is going to be the actual topper itself, I think. Um, so cute. Uh, so, oh yeah, it even cuts out the word friend, which is really nice. Love that. So then you can have, hey there, friend, or you're a true friend, you know, hell friend, best friend, and it just works really cute. I'm going to use this piece of lavender paper. I think I'm going to ink it up with black ink. Oh, I should have cleaned this from the last time I used this. Let me clean this up really quick. I'm just going to use a little wipe here. Um, and then I'm going to have to dry it, so I will be right back. Okay, not bad. Just want to tell you guys real quick, um, that was hybrid ink that I had used, I don't know, a few days ago. And that's kind of what I was mentioning whenever you use hybrid inks or any ink, really. You do want to really clean it up pretty quickly because um, it wants to stay. So I had to spray it with alcohol, and you can still see some on there. Over here it worked, which is kind of interesting because you can use alcohol markers with hybrid inks and they don't smudge, but it removes with alcohol. I don't know. I guess maybe because it's on plastic. But either way. All right, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to cut out a topper for my card. So I'm going to try and eyeball where I'm going to put this. And maybe I should have cut my paper down just so I have a better idea. But since I'm going to use a die, I don't care where it is as long as it gives me room to cut it centered, right? So I'm going to use you, me, and a cup of tea because I think that's cute. Well, it's all cute, but uh, let's see here. And then as far as if it's straight or all that, I mean, I can work that out later. I just want to make sure I have enough room with whatever die that I use on here. Maybe like in here. And as far as, like I said, it being straight, you know, we can work that out with the die. And I'm putting it on here just in case it doesn't stamp um, quite right. I can stamp it again. That's uh, what I've noticed. Some of the hybrid inks that I use are a little bit dry. And so sometimes they just don't stamp that crisp. So I'm just inking this up. Again, put this all the way up in the corner so it's always the same whenever I go to stamp it again in case I have to do it again. Oh. 
I guess I'll use my hand, but I'll use my little guy here. See, not bad, but I would like to crisp it up. Again, up in the corner so we don't get like a halo effect. What I've noticed too, whenever you have uh, sentiment stamps, if you're really pushing it and stuff, you're going to get ink kind of squished out where you don't want it. So right now I did that, but I was being very gentle with it. And you know what? The top of the E, I think. Not the E, the and. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right. So that's going to be my center uh, focal point. What I'm going to do is stamp the teacups in different colors on white paper. And I'll be right back. So I have my pieces uh, stamped and I was kind of deciding what I want to do with this. What I'm going to do is take this um, nesting die. Um, I've had it for a long time from Diamond Press and I'm going to, again, I gave myself plenty of room. If I was going to plan this, I probably would have, you know, stamped out a little bit differently. Um, like right here. If you want to conserve paper, but since I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do, I just did it this way. So I'll just trim that down and then cut it out and... I think that's pretty straight and then um, I was gonna use the scallop square or rectangle um, for behind it and I was gonna use white paper but then I thought oh you know we can try one of the little borders so we'll try the border in this actual kit there's this piece here that would be really sweet to use um, in place of what I'm gonna do right now but what I'm gonna do is that then I have this guy oh you know I need to check to see if this is the right size Ooh. <laughs> just on there so I'm going to cut this piece of acetate it's kind of like pinky purple color and I'm just going to layer it behind that and then um, we're going to cut our little cups and again for the cups I am going to make an aperture let me see if I can do it here I'm going to take this little guy just tape it down I'm going to run it through by itself and then that's going to give me a little window that I can then see exactly how to cut this I'll do it real quickly just so you can see what I'm talking about Again, folder, it's cut, it's starting to bow a little bit, but it's gonna cut just fine. So I'm doing this, look at that, he's so perfect, so cute. I love the little handle. Love a die that cuts the handle. Um, we're gonna put this here. And now I can see exactly where I'm gonna cut, right? Instead of just kind of guessing. And normally I would tape that again but I think I can hold it and be okay. Let's just make sure again. Just wanna make sure it didn't move. Okay. Let's go for it. So I'll cut that vellum and then this piece in my other cup. Perfect, so cute. And I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, that vellum I had was right on. It was kind of scary. So I went and grabbed another piece of vellum that's from a bigger sheet and I cut it down. Because I was like, ooh, no. <laughs> I think it was gonna cut some of the scallops off. So this one's a little bit more pink than the last piece I showed you. Okay, so we have that. Oh, that's just so sweet. A little background. And then we have these pieces. Where did I put my card base? I just cut a regular standard A2 size card base, which again is uh, four and a half by, I'm sorry, four and a quarter by five and a half. And so the sheet of paper is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So um, I'm gonna line this up like this, oh, so sweet. And then we have our little cups. And you know, it does have the little steam, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to use them or not. If we, maybe we'll stamp it, we'll see. Um, and then this piece here. So what I was thinking about doing with this guy, and let me put this over here. Again, you can cut this from the same set, the little lace, super cute. 
I think I'm going to cut this little guy. It's almost six inches. It's a little bigger than... We'll see. And... I'm trying to think if I want to put a little... Maybe some little hearts in it. We'll see. So I'm going to pop that in there. Just tape it down so it doesn't move. I run that through and we'll see if it works out for our project or not. And then um, we'll put it all together. Okay. All <laughs> the little hearts popping out there. So cute. Sweet. So what I'm going to do is glue these down. So I'm going to glue this to this just so I have a good idea where that's at. And then I'm going to glue it down to my card. Give that a moment to set up and then we'll play with these other pieces. I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, maybe you can go behind this. Also be cute, you know, just different ways to play with it. But for now... That's kind of why I oriented it a little bit higher up, because I figured I was going to use one of the borders down here. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to set up, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I'll glue this down again. It's vellum, so I'm going to only put the glue kind of on this back part. And I think what I'm going to do is put this little sweetie across here. And we're going to cut off that excess in just a minute, so let me do that. I'm going to trim this off just a little bit. I think my card base was a little bit off, so it makes it look a little bit off. So let me cut this down just to uh, fix that up, and then we'll add this. Okay. Yeah, my paper was a little off. All right, and then put this on here. Where, like in here somewhere? I'm trying to see where it better. So we're going to split the difference, because... You can line it up here and then try to make this scallop when you cut it off, kind of match up. But I'd rather just do this and then cut off the excess. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to hold that down until it dries. Again, I'm just kind of splitting the difference of what's extra, and then I'll just trim this off with scissors, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I just cut the other one off, but cut this one off the same. And then I have my little dimensional pieces on the back of this. So if you, again, wanted to do the little steam, which would be adorable, I would have stamped it previously. Oops, sorry, right there, you know, coming from here. So let's put this little guy going this way and one over here going this way. Just because I always like things being kind of fun. But if you want to um, just put them down like this is like a little countertop, that'd be cute too. But for me, I always like to angle them here and there. And there's that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, had some fun with some various sets here. Uh, keep an eye out for them. Again, midnight tonight basically um you kind of need to be on there i know everyone's like oh i'm so like excited and i'm i'm I'll, i'm setting my alarm clock or however they need to do it so you guys are so funny so thanks for watching guys thank you so much darn press for sending these items for my review where did i put my little tag oh i'll have pictures with it but uh for now i set it down somewhere so she'd be safe all right guys we'll have some images for you and uh thanks for watching i will see you guys at the next one bye now